Hello, hello, Fire Nation, and welcome to part two of the four-part series I've put together for you of the Tony Robbins, Dean Graciosi, and Russell Brunson live cast. This live cast was so full of value bombs. I really hope you enjoy. Listen to these words. You need to hear these things over and over and over again. So go for a walk, listen to on double speed, on regular, however you like. Go for a drive. Listen to this episode again and again and again, the one tomorrow and Friday and Saturday, because it is so powerful what you can do with this information in 2019 and beyond. And I do want to say that if you decide to purchase the program through Tony Robbins, Dean and Russell, the Knowledge Business Blueprints, plus the Mind Mint software, then you definitely want to go check out eofire.com slash bonus. I am adding five unbelievable bonuses to your purchase of this Tony Robbins Knowledge Business Blueprint course. These five bonuses are amazing. I have a limited bonus where the first 25 people to sign up through my affiliate link are going to come down to Puerto Rico for a weekend of mass mining and fun in the sun. It's going to be a blast. You're also going to get a 20-minute one-on-one strategy call with me. That's every single person who joins. You and I will talk one-on-one. We're going to have a one-on-one strategy call about your business for 20 minutes, just you and me, every single person who joins through my affiliate link. Plus, every single person who joins through my affiliate link is going to get a 15-minute time slot to interview me for anything, whether it be your mastermind, your podcast, your YouTube show, you name it. You have me for 15 minutes to interview for anything. Thing. Plus, you get a video testimonial from me for you for whatever it is that you want that testimonial for your website, your mastermind, fill in the blank. And there's more bonuses, Fire Nation. So go check it out at eofire.com slash bonus. And if you join through my affiliate link, which is eofire.com slash KBB for Knowledge Business Blueprint. So eofire.com slash KBB will take you right through my affiliate link. Then you are going to get all of these bonuses. And if you're one of the first 25, then we're going to have a great time down here in Puerto Rico. Plus all those other bonuses apply to every single person that joins. So eofire.com slash bonus to learn more. My affiliate link is on that page as well. So you can just go to eofire.com slash bonus. Check it out. Click on the button there. Join Tony Robbins incredible course. Then let me know. Let's get this party started. It's going to be a blast. And by the way, I do have a special gift for everybody who joins. I'm going to send you that gift the day that you sign up. And it is a physical gift. It's an actual physical gift. I'm going to ship it to you no matter where you are in the world. So shoot me an email. Let me know you joined and we are going to hit the ground running Fire Nation for 2019. So enjoy this live cast. It's going to be on fire. Successful entrepreneurs take advantage of tools that do things more efficiently. And when it comes to hiring, the tool to use is ZipRecruiter. And right now you can try ZipRecruiter for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash fire. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash fire. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. So again, we're talking about masterminds, and under is communities and workshops and groups. And the last one is what people call a workshop. I mean, a mastermind. Actual mastermind. Like an actual mastermind. And a mastermind is, uh, Napoleon Hill said it the best, right? Yeah. Anytime you bring two people together where there is some form of harmony or rapport, a third mind is formed. And that third mind has answers that neither of those individuals would have. When you get more than two people, it starts to grow geometrically. And the beautiful thing about masterminds, guys, is you might say, I don't know if I got the ability to stand up and even talk to a group on Zoom or even talk to a group of 10 or 12 people in a little meeting sharing what I know. You don't have to do that in a mastermind. In a mastermind, you're bringing people together and they, we show you the process to get them to bring the answers to the table. And you know what, exactly. people actually own things more in a community. A community is not just a place you go get something, a community go give something. And people get addicted to masterminds because I'm learning from other people really practical, specialized knowledge. Something can make me and my business grow, help me do with my hair, help me make better, better, write better software, help me whatever it is I'm looking for. These are other people in that industry They have history and challenges that I have. We share ideas and answers, but I'm also able to contribute to that area. And it takes the pressure off of you Completely. trying to be the expert. You don't have to be as a head of a mastermind. I have to tell you, nothing in my life it is the one thing that has moved the needle more for me than any one thing in my life i get to go i i high i hold high-end masterminds but i also attend high-end masterminds i spend hundreds of thousands of dollars going because i get to go there with my biggest problem and challenge and i get to go there also with my biggest opportunity and the biggest opportunity the group shines light on how to make it bigger and the problem somebody in the group absolutely has been through and they give me guidance 
Nothing has changed my life like masterminds. Plus, these become your dearest friends. They do. They become friends for each other. They become friends for you. And that also creates stickiness for the business as well on a positive side. People don't want to go away when they get so much value. Instead of you having to be the generator of value all by yourself, that's the beauty of a mastermind. Quite frankly, in the beginning, I did it all on my own. I learned. I grew. I was the guy from the front of the room. I did it the rough way. But masterminds are a much easier way. And in those masterminds, you're learning constantly too, which makes you a better expert. So if you do want to give a course, if you do want to step up and write a book, you have got something you to got pull eyeballs, from. And you got eyeballs. Yes. And, and just so think about this. When we say mastermind from this part out, we mean communities and groups and workshops and actual masterminds. I just got to share about Dana Derricks. Dana, awesome guy. If you could pull him up on the screen, uh, um, Mike. Um, Dana's an awesome dude because... Oh, the goat farmer, yeah. yeah no, yeah, yeah. like literally, this, his video that he sent in was unbelievable. Yeah. Dana taught people how to find partners to help promote your business. So you're going out there and, and he would find somebody that's in a similar genre but not a competition and get him to be an affiliate partner to promote. Yeah. So he did it so well, he said, let me build a course. And he's like, the course is good, but it's not making the impact. Then he got nervous. He started a $25,000 per person mastermind to come to his goat farm, literally in his garage. I'm not joking, in his garage, and hold it, and could this work? Would they pay me? Would they want to come to this little town I live in? <laughs> so amazing that right now he's doing $50,000 a month in top line revenue, helping people learn how to be better. $600,000 a year. Do and and how long has he been doing it now? Two years? Uh, two years. Yeah, two, two years. years. <laughs> two <laughs> years doing it. So, the reason I wanted to share these examples, and we had our team scour people to find from all different walks of life, is because when we talk, like, we didn't want to share too much to the world because you go, oh, I'm not Tony, I'm not Dean, I'm not an expert, and that's why you're wrong. In fact, I think I'm going to go to the whiteboard. Please do. I want to share something. If you guys could follow me over here. Thanks, Jeremy. So let's peel this off. So being in the knowledge business is... Again, when we first share this, you might think, I'm not an expert. And, and we have exact questions that we're going to go over. Thank you so much. Over 30,000 of you responded to the email that Tony and I sent out asking you, what would stop you from being in the knowledge business? And we heard you say, I'm an expert. I'm good at something, but I'm not a good teacher. I wouldn't know what to say. I wouldn't know how to do it. I wouldn't know where. Well, we solve that. That's what we do, right? So just think, if you had a methodical process, if you have a skill, a hobby, an expertise, or a passion, if you had the right questions, designed by Tony and I after 60 years where when you were done you went holy crap this is what I'm good at all of a sudden your confidence goes up and then you get the blueprint on how to train it whether online for a half a day or two days in person along with tools that we've been using I've been using most of those for over 20 years so just think that fear goes away but I want to tell you the three type of people we were calling it the KBB triangle the three type of people we've already mentioned a lot of times but I want this to sum it up for you you're either the expert. And what does the expert mean? It means you have to be in business for 50 years, doing it every day. No, that's not what it means. Take Jamie. If you could pull Jamie up. Jamie Findlay, I love this. I love this story. Jamie was a wedding photographer, doing really well. I think, if I remember right, she was doing $60,000, $70,000 a year as a wedding photographer and working time and effort, right? So she'd have to go to the wedding. She'd have to film. She'd have to edit. She'd have to do all the pieces. Well, then she started teaching her friends, and then more friends wanted to learn. So right now what Jamie does is she holds, holds uh, expert workshops on how to be in the wedding photography business, how to market, how to brand yourself, how to do amazing pictures, how to get other people to help you, how to get interns. She does this now and she's so fulfilled. She Same thing, her biggest fear, would people actually pay me for what I know? <laughs> I haven't been doing this for a million years. Now she's doing $41,000 a month helping people get in the photography business. This is what the world has changed. People would think just 10 years ago, you'd say, I want to be in the wedding business. Where can I go to college to learn how to be yeah. a photographer? Yeah. People don't think that anymore. You know where they go? They go and look for who's somebody I want to learn from a professional. I want to do, learn from a non-professional who's doing it rather than the professional teacher. Meaning a non-professional teacher. teacher. Yeah, a non-professional teacher yeah. that's doing it rather than the professional teacher. So that's a great story with Jamie. So now you might be saying, okay, all right, if I had a, if Tony and Dean were guiding me, I could extract it, I could share it, okay. But what about if I'm not an expert? I don't have any expertise. I just got out of college, or I've been in a job that hasn't challenged me forever, but I'm ready to tap into my full potential. Then you'd be re the reporter. Listen, I told this story on stage, and I'll, I'll rob this. I mean, the, the, the best idea, the best example of a reporter is money master the game. 
Yeah, it's it, one of the greatest. Yeah, because what I did when I, I saw this, I saw so many people suffering during 2008, and I knew a lot in the financial area. I'd coached Paul Tudor Jones, one of the top 10 financial traders for 24 years, and lost money in 24 years. It was all him, not me, but I got to learn a lot. And I thought, what if I went interviewed, because people are going to say, hey, Tony Robbins, he's a motivator. They don't know who I am. They don't know what I've done in the financial area. What if I interviewed 50 of the smartest people in the world, the Warren Buffetts, the Ray Dows, the Carl Icons, and figure out what makes them tick? What makes them so successful to go from nothing to multi-billion dollars? These are all people like Ray Dalio started in a two-bedroom apartment, right? And now the guy's got $160 billion that he manages. And so I figured out what they did. I applied it. And I taught it. I put it in a book and I taught it to people. But I got to tell you what else benefit happens. When you go to teach other people and you learn things, you apply it yourself. I took what I learned from them in my little fifty hundred million dollar companies and converted them to billion dollar companies, six billion now a year, just from what I learned in that area. But it started earlier. Uh, the, there was a guy, when I was first getting on, I was interested in the, the skills of leadership and I was interested in influence and I was interested in persuasion and negotiation and sales. And the number one guy in the world at that time was a guy named Tommy Hopkins. And he was like 20 years my senior, he had big seminars, like 1,200 people, and I was like, how am I ever going to do this? And I thought, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to interview 50 people who are making a quarter of a million dollars or more, back then that'd be like a million dollars or more today, in the sales profession. And let me find out what they did, from car sales people to insurance people, and I did it. And so I was the reporter, I gathered that knowledge, and then I started doing little seminars, and the seminars grew from... 50, 100, 200, and pretty soon there were a couple thousand people, and I was outstreaming Tommy Hopkins, no disrespect, he's a beautiful man, but I got to kill it because I was bringing new information that wasn't mine, it was from the best people in the field, and that's what I'm best at, is extracting that, and that's what you'll get in this yeah, course. And, and the cool you. part is, when Tony did it, he had to fill events, that's and you right. had to fill events through direct mail, through advertising in the newspaper or TV, yeah, it's right? Very in expensive. today's world, you pick up your phone, you have the opportunity to share this knowledge, and that's why it's growing. I mean, I, I share, I mean being the reporter is how most of us start. And you have the opportunity to go out. And I share this. I, I got to share this really quick. If I wanted to be in the, if I was doing a weekend workshop on how to be a, a wedding photographer, and I said to you, hey, come to this weekend workshop, and I'm going to show you how to get in the wedding photography business, how to market it, how to have a great style, how to brand it, and how to get somebody else to do the work, and you'll be at 250 a year in 18 months. Give me a thousand bucks for a weekend Zoom workshop. But I have one. A disclaimer, I've never taken pictures and I'm not a wedding photographer. <laughs> I just did this in front of 9,000 people when we were in I know, Chicago. I and I said, who would buy from me? Not one person <laughs> raised their hand. But then I said, okay, same stuff. I'm going to teach you how to market, brand, look great, do great, do all these things. Um, I have to disclaim, though, for this $1,000 weekend workshop online through Zoom, I have to disclaim I've never been in the wedding business. But here's what I did. I went on uh, uh, I went on Instagram. I found the 10 top wedding photographers making the most money in America. I DM'd them. I got in contact with them. I got them on the phone and I extracted the 10 best strategies from the 10 best in the United States. I correlated that information and I want to share with you the 10 best strategies from the 10 best in the world over a weekend workshop with Zoom. And you can make 250 grand a year. Who'd like to be in that workshop? The entire audience raised their hand. So we get rid of that. If you're not, the, and you can come back on this camera. If you're not the expert, at least you don't feel that you are, then you got to be the reporter of someone else's expertise. Which will turn you into an expert eventually, because you'll, you'll have specialized knowledge nobody else has. And then the last one is being a knowledge broker. Can I take that one? Yeah, that's where, This is where I started. So I didn't have the skill. I was still in the learning the reporting stage. And I met this man, Jim Rohn. I went to a seminar. It changed my life. And I, I wrote him. It was Christmas Eve. I got kicked out of my house. My, my dad <laughs> I got kicked out, too. My mom was a powerful woman. <laughs> he went back east. I was on my own. I remember I wrote this note. I sent it to his offices. I said, I'm going to bring you to the San Gabriel Valley, east of Los Angeles. I'm going to promote you. I didn't know how to promote. I just want people to know what you have. And so I stumbled across. And I didn't get the job initially. But I eventually went to work for him where I would go fill his events. So I was a knowledge broker. And then I became a broker when I said, I want to bring other people to the table. I want to start my own business. I want to have multiple speakers. And so that's what I did. And then gradually, over the years, I got better than some yeah, of the yeah. people I learned. I had a skill and then set. You eventually got on and I became the expert. So it's like you can hit this from many different angles. And the secret is you can start as small as you want and do something that's so meaningful and enjoyable earn really well while you're building into something even larger. Yeah, switch over to this camera. I want to show you this too. So this is 
this is what I really want to bring, and, I, and I'm just, I'm obsessed with whiteboards. <laughs> I, I, can't do, I can't do slides. So think about it. If you'd love to tap into an industry that's going towards a billion dollars a day by 2025, this is one of those things you look back in 10 years and go, shit, I was watching Tony and Dean. They said this was happening. It took over. Old education's dead. This is the new way. I could have been in there. So if you're excited about that, whether you're starting in the middle or you're crushing it, want to go to the next level, if you're intrigued about this industry, there's no excuse. Because if you have a skill, honestly, if you die someday with a skill or an expertise in your he head and you don't share it, I think you should feel guilty. That's what we want to do. We want to make self-education the new norm. I have a skill, I should, sk I should share it, create significance, create impact. But if not, you'll be the reporter. If not, you're the broker. This covers every single one of you watching right now. What you, one of you fit here, and here's the cool part. Because of the change in the world, change of technology, you could do it virtual or in person. And, he, and the thing is, too, if you say, but I don't know what to teach, that's what we're going to talk about in a minute. We take all that away. This, we have 60 plus years. But here's the cool part. If you open up and show this whole screen, this is everybody watching. You could do it virtual or online. You could do it in person, right? It's not the book, it's not the course, it's not coaching. It's one to many. And then lastly, you could decide if you'd build a community. Like the girl that does um, uh, right here, endometriosis. endometriosis. Yeah, Gavin, example. if you want to bring up Gavin. I love uh, what they've done. I mean, she built a community helping women conquer endometriosis and she's not a doctor she's not a nurse she was just the reporter and did it so she built an amazing community. But, but here's the most important thing she may went through the process of all the pain and solved it she navigated through it so she has specialized knowledge to help somebody else and save them decades or months or years with the pain that's the power of what this is really all about that's what the knowledge blueprint business really is is showing you the blueprint of how you can help others and help yourself simultaneously yeah and so if you could build a community, you could build a group, or you could build a workshop. Whatever one fits you, virtual or in person, and for us, that all falls, virtual or in person, it all falls under the umbrella of doing a mastermind. Again, it's completely straight impact. The other thing, too, is masterminds, you get to charge more. These, these people are charging ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 in some cases because you're going there and you're condensing decades into days. You're also showing somebody how to be able to earn more. So people will spend a dollar to make ten. they They'll spend 10000 to make 100000 Very often, like in my own industry, when I was helping people just with personal development, people don't realize if I go to this event, I could save my life. I could transform my energy. I could save my marriage. But all that seems like something in the distance. When you do things that are dimes to dollars, like things of this nature, where you're showing somebody how to solve a problem right now, people will spend the money for it, and it's happening all over the world. And the marketing part is the best part, because you might be saying, exactly. okay, what if I already have a business, too? What if I'm already in this business, Tony? How do I take it to the next level? Or I'm brand new. Let me make it really simple. I got 54 companies. When I take over a company, the very first thing that I do, and I'll give you two pieces of advice right now, whether you're starting from nothing or whether you've already got a business. Number one, I want to find out who is the ideal customer. Yep. Who's the person I want to serve? Who's the person that really needs this? Who's the person who's going to want this even when the economy's in bad shape? And then I want to know everything about them. What do they need? What do they want? What do they desire? What do they fear? Now, if you start with something that you've already gone through, you're one of those people. You already have yourself as an example. But I study everything I can to know about them. And then my job is to meet their needs. And the way you do that is you come up with an irresistible offer. And we're going to show you how just changing a little bit of language can change literally a thousand times return on the same investment you made in a few dollars, let's say on a Facebook ad or something you put on Instagram or something you do in any form of social media. So the secret, I'll give you an example. Most of you are probably familiar with Zappos. Zappos is a company that started, you know, if you can imagine back in 1999, 2000, and they had this idea, we're going to sell shoes to women online. Now, if somebody says, I want you to invest in this company, what are you going to say? Are you, what, are you crazy? People aren't, women are going to need to buy the shoes. They're going to have to ship them to them. They're going to have to try them on. They don't like them. They're going to have to ship them back. No one's going to do this. And sure enough, no one did. Now, then all come, along comes Tony Shea, who's a friend of mine who now runs the company. And Tony, and this is a bunch of guys in a house in San Francisco, and they're, they're struggling and they're losing money. And he says, guys, the first thing you got to know is who's your ideal customer. He says, you already have the ideal customer because women have a different relationship to shoes. A woman can put on one shoe and she's a different woman, a different color, a different <laughs> heel. You know, for women, shoes can equal happiness. Is it true, ladies? But for guys, some guys it matters. Other guys, it's like it's a shoe, right? He goes, you've got the ideal customer. He said, but you need an irresistible offer 
that'll make it so that they feel ridiculous not to do this with them. And he said, here's what I would do. He said, your objection is, the problem is, they got to try these shoes on. Let them buy as many shoes as they want, and here's the offer. We'll pay the shipping to you, and if you don't like any of them, you can ship them all back, and we'll take them all back, no cost to you, and we'll pay the shipping both ways. Now, if you heard this story, and you're an investor, you're like, you're crazy, you're going to go bankrupt. He says, you're going to go bankrupt anyway. You might as well have an irresistible offer. Today, that company grew to over a billion two. They sold it to yep. Amazon, and Tony still runs it today. Right. I want you to know, all this really comes down to is saying, who do I want to serve? Who, what's something I have, or someone else has, where I could take that information and help somebody? Who are the ideal people to go after? And then, what would be the irresistible offer? And we will walk you through that, as well as how to build the course, how to lay it all out. And we built it all the way down from not only a training you in this, in our course, but also being able to do a software that just automates it for you. All right, Fire Nation, jumping in here for a quick thank you to our sponsor. When you're in business growth mode, you need qualified candidates who can help you free up time, and ZipRecruiter can help. Gretchen Hebner is a perfect example of this. She's a co-founder of Codabell, a computer game used in thousands of elementary schools that helps kids learn to code. As the game grew in popularity, Gretchen had less time to dedicate to the design of the game. She needed to hire a skilled game artist so she could focus on growing the business. Gretchen's biggest concern, that it would be a tough position to fill, not only because of the skills it required, but also because she wanted someone who is passionate about teaching kids. With the help of ZipRecruiter's pre-screener questions, Gretchen was able to narrow her search and find the perfect match. Greg fast. And Gretchen isn't the only one. In fact, four out of five employers who post a job on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate through the site within the first day. And right now, you too can try ZipRecruiter for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash fire. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash fire. Once again, ZipRecruiter.com slash fire. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. Listen, in a moment here, we're going to share more, but we spent over a half a million dollars creating a software that's got a wisdom extractor. So you can literally go through a process that we develop. So when you're done, you go, wow, that's who I am. That's who I need to attract. This is how I built the, build the irresistible offer. This is the curriculum. Let's go after this. Yeah. And that's how we change the world. Chance. And that, so the last part, if you said, and, and I'd love to, if, if you could right now in the chat, because our team is watching the chat, if you feel you're the expert, Type a one right now. Just do it. Type a one right now if you're the expert. Or you'd rather be a reporter, type a two. Or if you'd rather be the broker, type three. We're going to look at these later. I want to see, this is personally, I just want to see which one of these do you feel like you fit in. And if I was you right now, if I was watching, say, okay, Tony, I get it. I get it, Dean. The knowledge industry, it's exploding. I want to make more money. I want to make more impact. I want both at the end of my life. I'd like to be in this business. I could see I could be an expert, a broker, a reporter. I like being in front of people. I'd do it in person. No, I'd rather do it behind the, a screen. I'll do it on Zoom or other online uh, ways. And I want to build a community. No, I want to build a group like Tony did. No, I want a mastermind where the collective genius in the room gets better. Or I want to do a workshop where it's a weekend. I'm going to show people how to do exactly what I do in a weekend, change their life forever, get my check and go. So now I would say, oh my, I mean, I hope right now we painted the picture. I hope we did you a service today because we have so much we want to share in a short period of time. I hope we did that service. But the only thing left I'd be thinking is, how do I get paid for it? And that's the part that in this partnership, yep. that's what I've obsessed on more than how do anything. I fill that? How do I fill this class? Yeah, how do I fill the class? And I want to share this. When Tony and I started, not that it's that whole walking uphill both ways like our <laughs> parents did, <laughs> but we had to go out and cast big nets. I did an infomercial because he did. That's the only reason I went in the infomercial. They were expensive. Good. It took a huge risk. I was a couple hundred thousand dollars in on credit cards to see if I got my first order. And then we'd have to hope somebody walking by the TV would want what we have. The world has changed so much that instead of social media using you, we show you how to use it. You have the opportunity. If you wanted to find pregnant moms who make $100,000 a year, who like peanut butter and jelly and do Pilates, you literally in 15 minutes could go find tens of thousands of them and provide them exactly what they need. So it doesn't matter what niche you're in, what you do for a living, what where you want to be the reporter, you can have access. If you look at Aaron and Jocelyn, if you pull them up, Aaron and Jocelyn were just a great couple. Like every time they're around people, they're like, you guys get along so good, you should help us, you should help us. So they started putting stuff online, they started building a community, they just started sharing stuff for free. And then his wife said, why don't we do one of those workshops? And he's like, I don't know, who's going to pay us? They won't come. Right. They started doing workshops. They are completely self-employed. They both quit their jobs. They're doing $16,000 a month. That's incredible. 
helping people with relationships. This is, there's, listen, there are no limits. There's no boundaries. This works wherever you are in the world. There's zero boundaries. One last thing I want to say about this too is we all know, and Tony, you've been sharing this, why you pounded the street, that's why you wrote that book. Winter is coming and it's eventual that the economy will turn. And if you Google it, you'll see when the economy turns, companies and people obsess on specialized knowledge more than anything else. So talk about not only putting yourself in an industry that's exploding, putting yourself in an industry that if the economy turns, it's recession proof. Yeah. Yeah. And you get to make impact during that time like you did. I think that, I think it's so important for you to realize though also that what would get in the way. We've talked about how great this is. Yeah, yeah. Say, okay, what's the point? You know, how do I do this? Yeah. We'll show you how, but what gets in the way are your fears and your limiting beliefs. And so one of the reasons I said let's reach out and say to people what would hold you back or what questions you have, you know, we had like 50, you know, people in a, in a row almost <laughs> saying some of the same things. Like the number one thing that you saw on the list that we saw with these different emails is someone say something like, again, what, what are people, they're not going to pay me. They don't know who I am. I'm not Tony Robbins. I'm not Dean. I'm not anybody like this. Well, that's why I wanted to give you all these examples to show you that these people didn't do it either. But I'll tell you what the secret is. People ask me all the time, even in public speaking, yeah. how do you get up there and do that? You know, it scares the hell out of me. I'm never scared because I'm not focused on me. So let me give you a tip. Really if you're focused on, oh my God, are people going to like me? They're going to respond to me. You're going to have a problem because you're in your own head. You're not focused on serving them. My focus, even when I had nothing, was to say, what do these people need? Who are they? What do they want? How can I do more for them than anybody else is doing? And I would gather my resources, my insights. I'd go to books, and then I'd get up there, and I'd only talk about what I was passionate about. And I didn't think about how I was coming across. Some of what I come across even now is terrible. But what matters is getting to the outcome where you truly serve people. And if that is your obsession, there is zero fear. There is only fear when you're thinking about how I'm coming across. And that's also true if you're saying, are people going to like me? Are they going to respond to me in the business? All you've got to do is focus on serving them. Provide content. It can be free that's content right. in the beginning. And people will like you because you're adding value to their life. People will respond to you and you will become gradually an expert. So this is not instant overnight. But you can see people starting a business in a year or two earning sizable amounts of money by anybody's stretch from 10000 a month to $50,000 a month or more because they've got themselves in the game. You've got to let yourself get in the game. You can't allow yourself to be stopped by those limiting beliefs. The other one I hear people say is, you know, I don't have the resources, I don't have the money, I don't know where to start. I didn't have any of it either. None of us did. But here's what we did. We made a decision that this is something we wanted to make our life. We wanted to serve people. We wanted to make a difference. We wanted to bring information that was valuable. And we wanted to make it our business so we could do it full time and provide for our families. Any human being can do that today, and we've got the expertise to show you how. But what you got to forget is it's not about resources. It's about resourcefulness. When you are resourceful, see, people say, I don't have the time. I don't have the money. I don't have the computer program. I don't have the right people. I don't have the knowledge base. You can get the time, the energy, the money, the creativity if you're resourceful. If you're, if you're passionate enough, you'll find the answer. If you're determined enough, you'll get through the problem. If you care for other people enough, you'll pull them into you. So I want you to know resources are never the problem. It's just resourcefulness. And we can show you how to compress to go from where you are to where you're going to be in the shortest period of time because we've made the mistakes and we also know the tools now that can scale you and take you very, very rapidly and save you that. The secret in my whole life has been I can learn by my own experience or I can learn by other people. Everybody knows in business, OPM, other people's money is valuable, it's leverage. But the thing that's more valuable than OPM is OPE, other people's experience. Yeah. If you can learn from the best in the world, you can save yourself a decade or two. That's what our passion is. That's why I've been talking like this. And now let's talk to them about how they can participate. Yeah, yeah. So listen we have we were we were just talking about we we're on a golf course i golf twice a year and it's with this guy and we, <laughs> we golf eight or times. nine holes right and I, and, and I love golf with you because you just pick the best holes it's amazing <laughs> so we're on the golf course and we're always talking about doing business together we've been knowing each other almost a decade yeah and we always go ah let's just go golf ah let's go eat <laughs> and we don't but we got on the subject the subject of self-education and how do we make it the new norm without my guidance counselor said go work at a factory no college Ooh, maybe stay working on cars not that working on cars is bad but there was nothing in the middle until I found self-education. So how do we leave a legacy? We help you extract it, share it, and profit. Or be the reporter, share it, and profit. So we spent the last eight months putting together a process, a blueprint for you to follow. Listen, here's what we know. If you're still watching right now, you're intrigued about another level. You'd like to, to tap into your full potential. That's what we all want. Dale Carney used to say it all the time. I loved it. The biggest plight in the world is knowing you have more potential and you're not giving it. This is one of those chances. And here's what we know. You're going to have to gain new capabilities. Our best thinking always get us to where we are, right? Tony's, when I got his course, new capabilities, I went to another level. 
you're going to need next level capabilities and you're going to need someone to train you. You're going to need someone to guide you. And Tony and I would like it to be us. Yeah. We just spent eight months, spent well over a half a million dollars just on a software alone to help you. And we want to share that with you right now. And we call it the Knowledge Business Blueprint. Mike, you could go to those slides. And here's what we created for you. I'm going to go through this step by step so you really understand it is let's go here. The first part of the Knowledge Business Blueprint is to extract it. Now, Mike, you could stay up for a little bit and then pull it down. Thank you. Um, you know we're live, right? Uh, <laughs> the Knowledge Business Blueprint, here's the greatest thing. This is the first course this guy's done. I've been waiting for freaking years. <laughs> this is the first course Tony's done in over 10 years. And when you start this course, Tony will set the anchor for foundation like nobody's business. We've already let just 100 people into the course just to see and they're losing their mind. You like, gotta, you, later on, well, you should look online and just see the comments, because these are people, some of them are, are new, some are seasoned veterans, and they're completely blown away. This is, every time I'm, I'm trying to do a seminar, an event, I do more seminars, events, and yeah. courses, obviously, I want to make sure that it is unmatched. We have done that here, and you have yeah. done that here in an extraordinary way, and not because we're patting ourselves on the back, but because with 60 years' experience, we'd have to be idiots not to see there are patterns that can help people get the answer quicker than they've ever seen before, and we know exactly where to go, and we've designed it for you. Yeah, exactly. And so just think and pull that slide up for just a second here, Mike. The first part, not only do we set the foundation, this is where we teach you how to extract your competence to know exactly go through a process that Tony and I created that will just immediately show you, oh, my God, this is what I'm good at. And then what Tony said before, how do you identify your ideal client? And then this is the part you're going to love, a systemized agenda builder. So if you say, I want to do a half a day through Zoom on how to cut hair, it will build your agenda. And here's the cool part. We will incorporate, we put in 20 of our, 20 years worth of tools that we use. So when you think about creating a mastermind, like, or, or an event, or a group, or a workshop, you're like, well, what do I, this where, lays where you, it where, out. Where are you going to go to get that? You know, and also, it's like, listen, you know, if you've been to one of my events, I do events 12 to 14, 16 hours long in a day. Some of them are four days, some are seven days, and we got 10, 12,000, 50,000 people there. And the guy at the top of the building is completely engaged. In a world where people won't sit for a three hour movie, yeah. the someone spent $300 million on their stare on their phone. Nobody does. And there isn't by luck and it isn't by magical personality. I've designed every bit of those events. So there's a wave of change that meets all the needs that a human being has. The need to be able to learn, to grow, the need to have a new sense of power in yep. your life, the need to connect with other people, the need for variety. And we, both of us, have figured out over decades how to make something irresistible. And you don't have to try and figure it out. We can take your knowledge and plug it in. It'll put you in a format that we've already known know works for people not only in America but all over the world. I work in a hundred countries and it doesn't matter. I've got the last seminar I did we had eight languages translated simultaneously on headsets, 12, 14 hours a day and people are saying this is the greatest experience of my life. How? By this exact extraction process. and design process that we're going to take you through. So the first part of the course is extract it and understand how to build it and use the right tools so they have the experience of a lifetime. The second part, and you can go to this Mike, is how do you fill it? Right? That's, that's, that's right. how do you collect money? And here's the thing. This is the part that changes everything because you are going to get our exact process on how to sell without selling, how to have the confidence to go online, to go. I think I have a, a yeah, this next piece I wanted to share. We go through and teach you how to market, if you'd like, on Facebook, through email, through Instagram, through social media, through word of mouth, YouTube. through any YouTube, every place possible to market, we give you the step-by-step -step process on how to you extract your ideal client. <laughs> exactly yeah. how we do it. It's how you got here today. It's the same processes that we show you, and you can do it at whatever scale you want. I want to go and get 12 people, or I want to get 1,200 people. This is the process that gets the job done. Yeah. So, so the first part, you extract it. Now you have the confidence. Now, how do I fill it? How do I market it? The last part, you could run, pull this up, Mike, is how do you run it? How do you create what Tony said? The ma I, I was been calling it in the course. I call it the the magic. I know you did too. The magical dance. Because did you ever go to an event and somebody overwhelms you with knowledge and halfway through you just want to leave because you want to vomit? Or, or there's you, not enough knowledge. Or you're there. so motivated, you're inspired, but you leave and go, what do I do? If you ever been to anything Tony does or seen what I do, you leave motivated and you go take action. So this is the perfect process that we call Story Teach Tool, and we teach you how to run it step by step. Whether that's stress-free management online with your agenda or doing it in person to in-depth if you're going to have a big event every single detail without missing a step and then the last part and this is the part that brings in every single person watching there's a whole training you pull this up Mike is the knowledge broker 
This is if you are going to be the reporter of someone else's knowledge, like we talked about, like Tony did with Money Master the Game, or you want to be the broker like he did with Jim Rohn, where you're partnering with someone that's an expert, or you're being the reporter of expertise. This is how you know how to contact him, how to talk to him, how to get him to engage. What kind of deal do you do with him? How do you market? How do you split the profit? Literally, we miss nothing on how to go from zero into this business. And if you're already in this business, you already know what it can do. And let me just share what we did. We let 100 people into the course. Yeah. And we let people who had never done this all the way up to someone like Lewis Howes. If you could bring this up. Lewis, I don't know if you know Lewis. Great dude. He's got one of the top podcasts. He just passed 100 million uh, downloads of his podcast. This is what he said. Uh, well, I just watched the mastermind sales training from Dean, implemented it, and got two sales in an hour today for $90,000. Now, I'm friends with Lewis. He got this course and lost his mind. He thought he was doing yeah. it as a favor yeah. by going through it. And he's like, Dean, I, I didn't. He's transformed his company. And right now, his sales are way beyond. He said he's on his way to $300,000 because I created a process that we've used forever to sell without being hypey, to sell without being pitchy, to create an application process. So you learn every little piece. But then there's somebody like, AJ, who's never done a mastermind in his entire life. And remember, when we say mastermind, it could be a group, a workshop, a community. But he spent 14 hours and obsessed and geeked, and geeked out on the course. He said, yeah. Tony Robbins always says, if I was going to do this, I'd do I it in a weekend. weekend. and do a total immersion, right? And he added his fifth person. He started his first mastermind. He's got five high-paying mastermind students already. And the list goes on and on. This guy said he spent $20,000, didn't get 10% which, what's in the KBB. And this is the last piece of this part, of this section. So now you have the extract it, you have the fill it, you have the run it, and you have the knowledge broker. I want you to think about, Tony has a waiting list of people that want to pay him a million dollars to consult for him. I've been paid $100,000 for a day for consulting and have a waiting list. I don't have time. So when it came to us immersing ourselves, we put eight months in this, countless videos and time and effort and energy. We didn't even get to the software yet. How do you price something like that? You don't get this opportunity. So when we said, what's a price on it? You could pull up the screen. We said, would $5,000 be fair? I mean, if you're getting a million dollars for being a... Yeah. And, and, and to give you the insights, not only how we extract, how we create the course, how we market the course, how you collect the money, how you expand it, how you improve it, every aspect of the business. Yeah, every aspect of it. And we didn't miss a thing. That's not what you're going to pay. But we wanted to put a value on it that's real. We could have put $20,000 on it. But here's where it gets really interesting. The course is everything you need. It's the total immersion. But now, how do you create, how do you create a software that is your assistant, is your guide through the entire process. Mike, if you want to pull the slides up. We got the Knowledge Business Blueprint course. We know that. But now let's get to the Mind Mint software. All right, Fire Nation, this is where we'll stop part two of the four-part series of the Tony, Dean, and Russell livecast. We'll pick this up tomorrow with part three, and then, of course, we'll finish it off the next day with part four. But don't forget, Fire Nation, eofire.com slash bonus is your call to action. And check out all the bonuses that I'm attaching to this course and software launch that Tony and Dean and Russell are doing. The power of my bonuses plus the amazingness of this course and software make this an absolute no-brainer. eofire.com com slash bonus. I will catch you there, Fire Nation, or I'll catch you on the flip side. When it comes to hiring, you can save time and get more qualified candidates fast with ZipRecruiter. And right now you can try ZipRecruiter for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash fire. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash fire. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire.